Hello everybody, Akra here and welcome to my Don't Starve How to Survive series. In this series, I will be teaching you all you newcomers and those of you who are still struggling how to survive in Don't Starve. Starting with this video, the characters, and I will be telling you all their advantages and disadvantages, as well as labeling them from easiest to the hardest. So, starting out, it doesn't really matter which character you play as, as long as you're comfortable with them. But, personally, I will be starting out with the easiest of all the characters to play as, which is Mr. Wilson. So, Wilson. He is pretty much the easiest character to start out with, as he really has no advantages, nor does he really have a disadvantage. Um, He's pretty much just your all-around basic character, um, you know, and that makes him quite good for most beginners. Now, during when he has over 150 health, 150 hunger, and 200 sanity, which I am just showing, and that makes him fairly good for beginner characters to get no used to. During winter, for those of you who are struggling with winter survival, he also grows a beard in 3-4 to four days, which makes winter survival very easy when you pair him with a winter hat or a beef flow hat, as both are going to be good for helping him survive. And also, when you shave his beard, it, he will give you beard hair, which I will explain about beard hair later on in a future video. But that is Wilson, and yeah, we are moving on now to the next character. So the next character that's easiest on our list is Mr. Weber, who is a Spiral Boy. Mr. Weber is the second easiest out of our list of characters to play as. So Weber, basically Weber is like Mr. Wilson in some in, in a bit of a way, but his biggest advantage uh, compared to Wilson is he can befriend spiders. How do you befriend spiders? Well, all you have to do is feed them a monster meat or some piece of meat. His other benefit is the fact that he can eat monster meat without having any negative effects, which makes monster meat a very viable food source if you are Weber. But this comes to my biggest negative with Mr. Weber, uh, the, this little spider boy, and that's he cannot befriend pigmen. Pigmen are kind of his greatest enemy, which is a little bit unfortunate. Like Weber, the, like Wilson, though, he can grow a beard. And let me just tell you, when Weber, this lad grows his beard, he looks amazingly old to me, which is kind of funny and sad when you look at Weber. But um, when his web is or his beard is shaved, he will give you silk instead of beard hair, which is useful but also kind of not useful. Anyway, um, back to Pigmen. Pigmen hate Weber, and they also and also Catcoons hate Weber. So, if you're, uh, like me, and you like having cat pigmen or catcoons as your friends, then Weber probably isn't someone you will want to play as. Right here, I was trying to find a pigman to show you that, um, pigmen absolutely hate this spider lad, because, unfortunately for this lad, Mr. Weber, as much as he tries to befriend pigs, the pigs see him as a spider. Which means that they will immediately hate him. But, unfortunately, I kind of failed at finding Miss, uh, a pigman to show you. So, we are just going to be moving on to the next character in the list. So, the next character, and by far considered by most in the Don't Star community the best character, is WX-78 the Robot. WX-78 the Robot is a great character to play as for most people who are struggling. His biggest advantage is that he can eat gears. When he eats a gear, he will upgrade. Once you've eaten 15 gears, you will upgrade to a maximum, I believe, of 400 health, 300 sanity, and I believe 300 hunger, but I'm not entirely sure. His other advantage is when he gets shocked by lightning, he will emit light, and he will go faster. Unfortunately, this brings me to his biggest downside which is rain. Rain will hurt Mr. Weber no matter, or Mr. W, will hurt WX-78 no matter what. So unfortunately, during spring, unless you have a lot of rain gear and stuff to prevent you from getting wet, you're going to have some trouble with WX-78 during the spring. Other than that, he is a great character. 
So, yeah, moving on to our next character. So, our next character is our very first transitionary character from beginners to advanced. Um, and it's Miss Wickerbomb. Now, Miss Wickerbomb does not fit the beginners category or the advanced category due to her abilities, in my opinion. And her advantage is the fact that she will never have to create a science machine as she knows all the basic science machine um, recipes. But she can use the science machine as an alchemy engine if she wants to. If you can't find the materials to create an alchemy engine immediately. Her other advantage is her books. It's three of her books. The first one being Advanced Horror Culture, which allows you to grow grass tufts, berry bushes, saplings, reeds, or, um, or, or that are on screen back to life. And Birds of the World, which allow you to summon birds onto your screen, and Sleeping Time Stories, which allows you to put things that go to sleep, um, to sleep. Um, but that's pretty much all of her advantages. Her biggest disadvantage is she's an insomniac, which means that she cannot sleep to regain health, nor she can, can she sleep to regain sanity, which leaves you to have to search for other options to regain these um, these items that are lost. But we will be talking about sanity and stuff um, in a later on video. So moving on to our next um, character. Our next character is our first advanced character. Mr. Woody. Woody is a lumberjack, and he's the first character that is um, very resource friendly. He brings his now, which is his biggest advantage, as he brings an axe called Lucy. Lucy the axe is a unlimited axe. It'll never break, which means that you will almost indefinitely be able to have have a unlimited axe, and you'll never have to build one. His our advantage is the Wear Beaver. The Wear Beaver is a great advantage for gathering all types of resources. Unfortunately, his biggest disadvantage is he will never be able to get the Glomer or Glom Glom as a pet. Now, the Glomer is there is a way for him to get the Glomer, but unfortunately, I will not go into details about how to get. His other disadvantage is when he's fighting a, uh, he will lose sanity and hunger and health when he when he when he gets out of wherever you perform and if he was in combat and dies in the wherever you perform anything that he was attacking will still be in combat and try to kill him thus making combat a very um be careful basis as the wherever beaver even though you will you will be initially invincible as the wherever beaver but if you like playing Woody or if you need a resource management friendly advanced character Woody is definitely the way to go so yeah let's move on to the next character on the on the list so the next character on the list is Miss Willow now, in some cases, some people have considered her an expert character, but she's an advanced character in my personal opinion. And for that very reason, I put her in the advanced character list. Her advantages are, she brings herself a sweet lighter. And this is a very resource-friendly character. Even though her lighter is not as bright as a normal torch, it does come with another advantage, which is, she can cook food with her lighter. Which is uh, a thing, which is something that a normal torch will never be able to actually do. This makes her very resource friendly when she can't, when you can't create a campfire for any reason. Her torch also, her lighter also lasts much longer than a normal torch. And her other advantage is Bernie the bear, which is her toy bear. Her toy bear, when you go insane, will allow you, will allow the Bernie when it's down on the floor to aggro to aggro any shell creatures to come after her to go after you or to go after you to come after a Bernie but it just leads me to her biggest disadvantage which is when she's insane she cannot stay warm thus needing winter clothing or something to keep her warm now in Don't Starve the Original she was immune to fire which was a great advantage but she would set 
things on fire if she was insane, which is unfortunately a bad uh, trade-off. But I like the we do better. So moving on to the next character. The next character on our list is Wendy. Now, some people consider Wendy as a beginner character, but in my personal opinion, Wendy is an advanced, an advanced character. Her biggest advantage is her dead sister, um, Abigail, who's her twin sister. And this makes Abigail a very big tank on the party. She, um, Abigail will be able to take on tier 2 or tier 3 spiders with no problem, and she can take on, she can take almost two full tier 2 or tier 3 spider dens with no issues. But her biggest disadvantage is Wendy hits 25% less than everyone else, which means that combat is not a best suit for her, as it'll take more hits to ki destroy or kill any an animal or creature that you are attacking in Don't Starve. And, but if you're willing to live with this trade-off, Wendy is not a bad character to play as, and I would highly take like to say, take a chance at playing with her. So, yeah, moving on to the next character on the list. So, our next character on the list is our second transition character in from advanced to expert, and it is Miss Wigfred. Wigfred is a, a advanced to expert character or transition character because of her abilities. Her greatest advantage is she hits about 25% more than everyone else. She also starts with her amazing Bell Helm and Bell Sphere, which are an upgraded version of the Football Helmet and the Sphere itself. But her biggest disadvantage is she will only eat protein. This means that you have to hunt your meals, and she will never eat berries, she will never eat anything that's like birch nuts, um, birch nuts, she won't eat seeds, she won't eat anything that any other character can normally have, can normally have, which is her biggest disadvantage in the beginning of the game. But when, if you can get through all of that, Wigfred is a joy to play as, and she's a very combat ready, ready character for those of you who are looking to always get into a fight in some way or another by your own hands. But other than that, I mean, you know, I truly enjoy playing Wigfred, and, you know, I wish she could eat more, but what are you gonna do? It's a trade-off you gotta live with. Anyway, moving on to our next character in the list. So, our next character in the list is Mr. Wes. Mr. Wes is a mime, and like Wendy, his biggest, um, disadvantage is the fact that he will only hit 25% less than everyone else. He cannot, unfortunately, which makes combat, of course, not very preferred for him. And you'll have to find other methods to fight for, for Mr. West. But his biggest advantage is he can create balloons. These balloons can cause a distraction against towns or any other creatures that may come after Mr. West. Personally, though, I don't really prefer playing Wes as as with what I'm about to show you will will be um, a very big distinct reason of why I don't like Mr. Wes and that's because he's mute which is his other best, biggest disadvantage he will never warn you if hounds are coming and this is just a big disadvantage and you know one of the main reasons I don't like him the other reason is if you just look at Wes I mean seriously when he, he's examining this item, he's just, he's just shaking or doing movement. He's just, you know, not really doing it. He, he, he wants to tell you something, but he can't tell you anything because he's just a mute. He's trying to do, just communicate by shaking his hand or doing whatever. And it really just makes you wonder, why did Maxwell bring this guy into this world? I mean, what was the point? You know, because, so yeah, it makes you really wonder what was the point. Anyway, um... So yeah, moving on to the next character on the list. So our next character on the list is the next expert character, uh, Mr. Wolfgang. Now Mr. Wolfgang is an aristocrat. He um, pretty much is um, the strong man. 
and he's great for combat. One of his biggest advantages is when his belly is full, he will all pretty much have 50% more how, um, damage than anyone else. But in his second form, he will fight like a normal person, and you never really want him to go into his puny form, as his big, biggest disadvantage when he's in his puny form is he will hit 50% less than everyone else, which makes him much weaker than Windy. But personally, if you don't mind always having a but he will, that also brings me to another disadvantage, as he will eat like a beefalo. And speaking of which, we will get into beefalo domestication in a future video, but he will pretty much eat like a beefalo and eat you out of house and home, which really is hard. But you personally want to make sure with him that you'll have a lot of food to keep him in his normal to mighty form, as this will pretty much always make sure that you'll never enter the weak form, and you almost will never want to enter his weak form. But if you're willing to live with that, Wolfgang is a great expert character, and I would highly recommend him for his combat ready readiness, as he will always be in the forefront of combat for either you, yourself, when you're playing the original Don't Star, or for your friends. So, yeah, definitely um, a fun character to play as, but also a very tough character to play as. So, yeah, moving on to what will be our last character on the review on this list and also the toughest out of every character to play as on the uh, out of all the extra characters and all the characters in general. So, yeah, let's move on to the next character, the last character on this list. So, the last character on this list of the experts and the toughest out of all the characters is the former king of the world, Mr. Maxwell. Maxwell used to be the king of this world, but now he's just a survivor like everyone else. This is, um, Maxwell is a great character. He has a lot of perks. One of his biggest perks is he will never go insane naturally because of his dapperness. He's just so dapper that he will never go insane. And for those of you who hate going insane, Maxwell is a great character for that reason. He also will create his own shells, which will allow him to gather materials or fight for him. Now, in Don't Start the Original, his shells would die after two days, but I liked them a lot more because you could easily control what they did, rather it was gathering materials or fighting for you. Um, but in Don't Starve the Together, it still serves the same purpose, but I will get into my basic video of why I don't personally like the shells as much anymore. But anyway, his biggest disadvantage is he's frail, which means that he does not like combat one way. He will almost always get one shot by most giants, and he will not, he does not get like combat at all, because he can lose to most enemies when given the chance that he's not wearing armor. And that's his business at disadvantages. He only has 75 health, which really makes him very, very frail and not very combat ready. So, unless you're one of those people who don't want to enter combat very often, or you like combat, I would not, I would not recommend playing him for the combat, but he's a great expert character that I would, it, I would love to say that maybe you should try at one point in time if you really want a challenge. Let's say you've done everything, Maxwell is a joy to play as, and he's a great, great challenge for any Don't Start player who's done everything. So yeah, let's move on to my closing thoughts of this video, for this video. So in closing, who do I recommend you play as? Um, Personally, I don't recommend you play as anyone. Play as whoever you think is your most comfortable character. Whoever you think you're best with. And if you are feeling like it's gotten too easy, move on to an advanced character if you've been playing beginner characters all the time. If you've been playing begin advanced characters all the time, move on to an expert character. As all of these characters are a joy to play as, I would highly recommend you try all of them at least once. But if you have to play as your favorite character or the character you're best with, Go for it. It doesn't really matter. Personally, they're all great characters. They're all fun. They all have their advantages and disadvantages. And I hopefully have given you some insight on how on how the characters are, their advantages, their disadvantages, and maybe just a little bit of an insight of how you may want to play as these certain characters. But um, thank you everyone for joining me. In the next video, we will be talking about getting started and some basic tips on 
what to do when you first start out and don't start. But thank you everyone for joining me on this video uh, of the How to Survive series. And until the next one, this is Zachary signing out.